Hi there, it's me, Floofy. Now, you, some of you may be very confused as to why there's another episode of Echo going on. When you know last episode, well, we just completed Echo. We did every storyline there is to do. Some of you may be very confused. Well, I learned something very interesting, you see. when I This is something I first noticed when I boot up the game. When you hover over the ocean, or l this lake... Is this the same place where Sydney drowned, by the way? I hope not. That'd be scary. There's some otter face just chilling in here. I don't know. But uh, we go in here. And uh, you see, this is proof. We did everything. Found all the pretty pictures. You know, Chase booling with Emma. Or Jenna, whatever her name is. Something like that. The pretty picture. Sydney all grown up. Uh, Flynn at the very scary place. But something I, interesting I noticed... Is that you see this broken mirror over here see shadow chase what's he doing here what's shadow chase doing here turns out if you click this you find the days for everybody involved oh that's ominous place where he burned to death anyway uh, you find these these are some sides what is this I didn't realize this what is this Oh man, what, I, I almost want to see what that is, but there's uh, there's seven mini stories from what I understand, and they take place from various perspectives. I want to see what this is first though. Oh no, this is just the thing again. Let's go back to Shadow Chase Broken Mirror. Now, the hard part is finding which one to do first. I think I'm just going to do them in order. I'm going to do Date first. I, I'm, I'm assuming this is Chase and Leo. Let's do Date. Let's read. January 2010. So this is five years before Echo takes place. From what I understand. It makes a good date. I'm not sure. Chase told me dinner and a movie. Oh, this is Leo then, right? Having the dinner half of the date of my at my house would be really nice. Fine and Peyton. My mom's a great cook. So this... This is very most likely Leo. Heather has her head down that she's really unhappy. Who is this? This ain't Leo no more. Who is this? Let's do really good and it takes place in space, which is my favorite. Space is my favorite too, to be honest. Oh, new scenery too. Open the door for Heather. So whoever this is has dated Heather. Is it... Uh, who is this? Who is this? Is it Carl? Is this Carl? Because I know one of the main cast dated Heather at one point, right? Hi there. TJ! It's TJ! TJ dated Heather. That's right. I remember now. Oh, so this is, this is uh, five years before Echo. So he must have been a little young at this point. Never mind. All right, add the G's. Mom just sort of invited herself. Ew, that's so awkward. Oh, it's a date with your mom? With your mom there? It's, oh, jeez, man. What have you done? Ooh, this is pretty. Oh, this is so terrible. The drive back home was pretty is pretty awkward. Uh-oh. Hess. So his last name is Hess. TJ Hess. Not very a catchy name, but you know. What does TJ stand for? What's the J? Because that's how that's how it works, right? TJ is an acronym for the name. And the J is the middle name. I don't know. Something like that. Wow. 
Well, thanks, Dad. Man, you do not look happy. Christian Rock. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh man. Hey, listen, I, I I had to be the same way when I was a preteen, man. <laughs> oh boy. Classic rock. See, now that's more like it. L listen, nothing's wrong with classic rock. But it, it's so I, I laugh because it's so perfectly in character for TJ to like only listen to Christian rock. I find that so humorous. Listen, I listen to a ton of Christian rock. Nothing wrong with it, but I just find that so funny. Shut the door. Uh oh. Uh oh. TJ! TJ! TJ, you better have safety, young man. Oh my gosh. Oh no, I have to censor this. Oh man, oh no. Oh, he don't. He ain't into it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Of course she has. It's Heather, bro. Come on. You weren't enjoying it. Yeah. Sorry, Heather. But, you know, take a... Let's take a little bit slower next time. Maybe just, just leave off at the kiss next time. You know what I mean? Just not ready as all. Well. Yeah, he, he ain't ready yet. That's okay. Really cliche, but it's the truth. Nothing wrong with that, man. I know I wasn't ready my first time. Looking back on it, I really wish I did speak up. Instead of letting it happen. So it's a good thing that TJ is doing this. I'll get going anyway. Sorry, Heather. Maybe next time. See you on Monday. Ugh. Man, that's tough, dude. It's okay, TJ. You weren't ready. See? Thank you, Ma. I'm so bad at this stuff. Why did I even try? You know, TJ? No, that was a very respectable thing you did. You didn't sell out. You, you fought for what you believe in. You did better than me. Did a lot better than me. So it's, it's respectable. You weren't ready and you told her off. You weren't ready. Maybe next time. Maybe start a little slower. Nothing wrong with it. You did perfectly good, TJ. How's the date? Well, you know, Chase? Uh, he did all right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, Chase was definitely a teen. That TJ. What other TJ are you thinking, Leo? Yeah, it was okay. Nothing wrong. Maybe don't bring your mom next time and maybe, you know, start a little slower, I guess, with the saucy stuff. But yeah, it was okay. How did you know you're gay? <gasps> Interesting. Is this? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I know what's going on. He wasn't into it. And he said he knew he should like it, but he didn't. Oh. 
Is this when TJ starts questioning? Very interesting, because when I did TJ's storyline, you recall, he definitely was questioning. He didn't like it when uh, Chase kissed him, you know, obviously, but he was questioning. So is this when his questioning began? Oh, don't laugh at the dude. Come on. He has a very serious question. What did he say? Are you on your computer? Why are you on your computer, Chase? Oh, never mind. Thick fur. Uh-oh. Do I got to censor this? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! My voice cracked. Censor that. Cut it. Cut it. Censor that. Censor that. Pushing them up. Oh my gosh! Get me out of here. TJ, don't leave me here. TJ, TJ, don't leave me here. Come back. Oh my gosh, Chase, that's so immature. Not really, I guess. Man, he really did begin questioning. Much thought. Yeah. Yeah, she's not the first person I would go for. <sighs> Man. That must have been really tough considering Chase had someone with him and TJ doesn't. Making things seem alright. Yeah. He does have that charm about him, don't he? So it didn't happen. Yeah, she wanted to be left alone with you, TJ. I don't know, man. I feel like she would have taken advantage just a little bit. What Chase and Leo might have been doing. In a car? What do you think they were doing? I actually think it's kind of cute. It'd be cute if his ears weren't sharp like a wolf's. Wolves have very sharp teeth is what I hear. Uh-oh. Wow, that's when TJ began questioning. Very interesting. I wonder if there's any sequel stories, which from what I understand, there is a sequel uh, in the works. Remember that those two guys that I clown on all the time for being so strange looking? They're apparently the protagonist of this uh, supposed sequel. But yes, it was very interesting watching TJ have his questioning. And of course, you know, Chase and Leo had their own thing going on. I'm distracted by what they have going on all the time. So flamboyant. Let's find another story. Let's find another story. Did So that was Date. Runaway. This one's most likely about Jenna. I'm assuming. May 2010. Okay, so this is a little bit uh, after TJ begins questioning. Uh, if I can if I'm getting my dates right, I'm not a very big historian Let's let's continue shall we Dad and Jeremy so this is Jenna Are we gonna see closet uh, Flynn closet demon Flynn? Man, it would be so awesome to see closet demon Flynn Got my clothes packed away it feels a little bleak gloomy. <gasps> she is running away No, I have lived here at all Ooh, this background stuff, man. Is that a boiler? Are you in the basement? Jeez Louise. Duffel bag. Not so much. It's okay. He says he'll be waiting at the diner. Thank you, Chase. Jeez Louise. At least she has somebody. What's that book say? It, it's, what does that say? It's the lost ones. The lost ones? Is that what it says? The lost ones? With an emoticon shaking its head, figures. Okay. 
my shoulder muscles. I'm going to sag in my necklace. The one Jared. Jeremy gave you that necklace? I wonder why she's still wearing it. She hates Jeremy. Isn't that right? Is that right? Daily arguments. <sighs> I'm surprised you came out so good, Je uh, Jenna. Key under the door, am I looking over my shoulder? I spent the last 17 years of my life. She was only 17, dude. Holy cow. I'm 19 and a half, almost 20. I'm almost 20, and I could not imagine doing this. I would be terrified, dude. And listen, I was a wimp. I was an absolute scaredy cat when I was 17, dude. Of course, you could very uh, easily make the point that I'm not very brave uh, nowadays as well. But yeah, especially back then, I was scared. I was a scared little boy. It's just a house, not a home. Yep. <sighs> yep. I can only grin like an idiot. That's right. Run, Jenna. Run free. Taste freedom. Taste life. Taste anything else but an abusive home. And it tastes so sweet. And free. That's right, Jenna. Keep running. That's right. Because people in Echo never listen. That's right. What could have and should have been. That's right, Jenna. Run free. Run for the hills. Run for the hills. Don't look back. Just, yep. Run. Run, Jenna. Don't look back. Don't have regrets. Hit the pros far away the cons. That's right. Don't look back. I feel like a, a pang of guilt in my stomach. Throw the necklace away. We'll have to deal with mom and dad on all his own now. He's the big brother, right? That's the big brother, not the little brother. He could run away too, but he doesn't. Grant, you have to be very brave to run away from home. I I ran away once in my life. That was Christmas Eve. You take It takes a lot of bravery. I'll never be the same after that. You gotta be brave. You gotta be brave. It's not easy. He might have turned out all right. <sighs> Never look back, Jenna. You're the only one who made it out all right. But I've made up my mind. Add a girl. That's my girl. Come on, Jenna. Fight. Duffel bag one palm. I press the other. I feel like a child again. Yeah, you do feel really small and helpless when you run away like that, don't you? These bags are way, way too heavy. Come on, Jenna. It'll be okay. Chase his parents' car. He didn't even bring his own car. Well, then again, dude must have been like 14 at the time. I guess I can't cook him that hard. In fact, he was like 15, if I'm understanding correctly. Because he drowned Chase when he was 10. And this is... Um... 2010? So... So that means Sydney drowned in 2005, if I'm understanding. Hey, Chase. Man. How you doing, buddy? Let me handle this. Think with bricks? Maybe. I don't know. Toothbrush, something to read. He grins. All your manga, too. Yeah, probably. Most of it, yeah. Jasmine. Very interesting. This is before she got her name changed. Jasmine. I wonder what made her pick Jenna. Would have made for a nice prank. You never change, Jenna. Yeah, man. You are so starved of touch at that point, man. Even bad touch feels good. You know what I mean? Emo garbage with bad lyrics. Oh my gosh. Leaks of Kilio's Cologne. Oh my gosh, dude.
a different brand of cute. So you mean goofy? He's a little goofy. It's not a bad thing to be goofy, but you know, it's silly. You know what I mean? Silly. A different brand of cute. That's all silly is, is a different brand of cute. Out with the pack. Uh, stereotypes, I love it. Meet him at the shop. Dude was like 15. Or no, Leo would be like 16, 17. I guess at that point he would have a job. Thought his parents' place was closed at 6. What time is it? Oh, Chase had an Echo Anchor Bracelet. We're gonna have to buy those things. We've been better. Oh, this is when they started having troubles. So they were struggling for a little bit then, for like a couple of years, unless it got better. Oh, that's so hard to read. Oh, no. Once we're done with school. Oh, man, dude. Oh, it's so hard to read. Oh, oh my soul. Oh, Chase, if I could tell you how it ended, man, I could have saved you so much heartache, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. I saw them. Ew! When I talk about it, it's no big deal. Okay, I'm That's right. Yeah, dang. That really, <laughs> that was really put into practice, huh? The spectacular sunsets. You can find spectacular sunsets everywhere you go. Not here. What nature there was like. He came from Canada, didn't he? Came from uh, up north, I think. You can stop if you like. Nah, I'm good. If you want to say goodbye, heck no. Keep driving. Bad bye. My mom, I fill up the tank. Uh, watching Chase having to borrow his mom's car is funny to me. You're going all the way out here for me. That's right. So she lives an hour away, I, I think. Because does Chase live in Payne at this point? I don't think so. Does he? Does he? No. No, he doesn't, right? I don't know. I'm not a historian. I just read this game a lot. Uh-oh. Whoa, look at the gradient. Oh, whoa, cool, dude. That's a good thing, Jenna. I was almost tempted to say pick up the phone, but I realized that would have led nothing but hurt. What was that about? It's nothing. You haven't even been gone that long. Well, abusers keep a very short leash, don't they? You think he knows? Of course he knows. And I really don't care. Wow. Well, Jenna, you're a lot braver than I was. I tell you that. Oh, that's the name of one of my favorite songs, Fill the Void. They want to fill the void. I think I'd be a good singer, no? It is a pretty nothing burger of a town, isn't it? Never gone to Western Comics. Those are pretty good. There's, there's some good ones. I don't, I don't read a lot, obviously, but I don't know. Oh, Carl, Carl, Carl. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me. Oh, this is creepy. I bet there's a face in this background somewhere. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, man. Anytime there's a dark background, I swear there's a face in this background. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> Terrible. In this, to, in today's economy, I'm surprised they can even afford to do drugs. As terrible as that sounds. No, don't tease him. 
Don't even joke about that. Yeah, lay off my man Chase for a minute, man. He's been through so many timelines of pain, dude. He's earned some relaxation at this point. Probably some really big ones. Jenna, stop it! Yeah. Man, that's a that's a that's a horrible insult, man. Oh, that's terrible. Well, because you go easy on him. Ouch. He spent hours crying in his room afterwards. Oh my gosh, that's so terrible. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't feel bad at all after what they did to Sydney, but gosh dang, that's terrible. Yeah. I bet she'd be really angry if she found out what actually happened to Sydney, but I digress. Not much scares me. That much is true. It seems like nothing phases Jenna at this point. What is that in my computer? Is that a spider? Is that a spider in my computer? Hey! Hey, you don't pay rent. What are you doing in there? Hey! Don't make me boot up Skyrim with 60 million mods and flush you out with the flames. I'm not afraid. Turn you into the next closet, Flynn, with all those flames. Well, he ain't getting out of there. Let's continue. He's been through a lot already. I don't want him scarred for life. Well, he's already kind of scarred for life there, Jenna. But, you know, I appreciate your input. But I'm fair game. Yeah, Chase. I will absolutely tease you for all eternity after what you did to Sydney. I get the best reactions out of you. Foxes. Ouch, man. Chase is a little spider problem. As mom always calls it. Man. So he's had that for like a long, long time then. He's had that phobia for like a decade then. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Woo. Kiss you all better. Yeah, call Leo so you can give him a kiss for those boo-boos. Oh yeah, like that movie. Come to think of it, yeah, it doesn't surprise me. Sounds like TJ. Don't do it. Don't do it, Jenna. That's a good point. What I have to do? Don't do it, Jenna. Fifteen. Uh oh, one from Jeremy. I don't know, I feel like Jeremy's the only one who deserves a phone call. Then again, he'd probably know. Taking me back to the madhouse. Don't go back! Don't go back! Be the one that flies over the cuckoo nest, Jenna. Don't go back. Just showing up a call on the police. What are the police gonna do? This is a backwater town with no police in it. Ooh, I don't know. They're crazy. You'd be surprised at the things crazy people do. I know I was. No, don't do it, Chase. There's a serial person in there, I'm telling you. Strawberry flavored popsicle. Amen for that. Strawberry flavored anything is the best, I'm telling you. You know, I mean, <laughs> I'd hate to tell you, but he's kind of right, isn't he? I mean, come on. Oh. Well, I mean, he's still right, I guess. Ah, you like strawberries too, Jenna? Thank you. I, you know, I agree with you, Jenna. Strawberry flavored anything is the best anything. Way too chemical scent. Yeah, they probably, it's probably more chemical than sugar at that point. I'm not dead yet, at least.
This is really happening. I don't know. It sounds really scenic. Sounds like the kind of thing you'd remember for the rest of your life. I know I sure did. Oh, chase, chase, chase. What are we going to do with you, dude? Why don't you apply for college? Oh, this is when he... Is he going to talk about wanting to become a, a journalist? I mean, the one in Pueblo. Just can't leave Leo behind. And what did you do, Chase? You not only left him behind, but you ghosted him. Didn't you, Chase? They're not a thing, Jenna. Trust me. They're not a thing. It's a sham. It's a scam. They don't really exist. Long distance relationships never, ever work out. Or maybe I'm just being a cynic. It's possible. Who lives on the other side of the planet? And what do you think happens in that relationship, Jenna? What do you think happened? Think they broke up at the end? Because they did. Smart, motivated. That that those are definitely words that describe Chase. Smart and motivated. Maybe a little not so much on the smart part, but definitely motivated. I don't know what I'd go for. You'll you'll figure it out, Chase. You'll figure it out. Maybe journalism. Oh, so this is where he got the idea for journalism. Going for psychology. Personally, I don't think it's a good field, but I'm glad Jenna made it work out. Because she came from a bad place, man. And it makes me very proud to see her come back like that. <laughs> oh, silly head. So what made you do the thing you're doing right now? What do you think, Chase? I'm not sure. Why did you decide to run away? Well, I could probably muster a small list of things based on what I know alone, let alone what Jenna knows. Ah, uh, Leo. Most of them are none of your business. That's entirely respectable, Chase. Respect it. Well, you know, that's a good point too, I guess. Oh boy. What did they do to you? Did they hurt you or something? Yes, I do think so. Ah, oh, Chase, is that what's going on here? You want her to stay in Echo? It's convinced me to stay. <sighs> I don't think that's what's going on here, but that does seem like it, doesn't it? And you know what? All I can say is, you know, Jenna's right. You don't know how she feels. What it can do to people. Well, tell him. If he really is so ignorant, enlighten him a little bit. Yep. That's why you gotta get out of there. That's right. That's my girl. Get it, Jenna. That's what I'm talking about. Can't do that in Echo. That's right. It's not the place for me. It never was. Amen. It's not the place for any of us. Man, even Chase was ready to leave at this point. But it's home, you know? It's not my home, and it sure as heck ain't Jenna's home. Adam's dead. Adam. Is that one of Brian's victims? I feel like it was. What did Carl do? Oh. That, okay, whatever. What'd they say about Carl? Chase, drive the dang car, dude! Can we talk about this later? 
Carl, he's harmless. Chase, drive the car, dude. We can talk about this later. Can't hold anything save for a beer bottle. Yeah. Interesting, though. You learn, Chase. You will learn soon. If you go way back, it's complicated. It's very interesting. After we just finished Carl's line, I actually know that that's true. Because it was a lie. Everyone's been really worried. Well, I guess he's right. Can't keep everyone in the dark forever. Are you helping me? Uh-oh, Chase. Then again, what could have Chase done? Hey, Mom and Dad, I'm going to go help my friend run away. There's nothing he could have done. Been asking about you. Uh oh. What'd she say? Chase is one of the one of the nicest people I know. I don't know. From what I understand, Chase and his parents don't exactly click. From what I know, from what I understand, or maybe I'm just misinterpreting it. I think. If you eating okay? Yep, that sounds like a mom to me, man. I'll go straight someday, huh? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh boy. Chase, you never change, do you? Oh boy. Oh, nuts. I dropped my crucifix. Hang on. Where'd it go? It's this, it's this really pretty one that's blue and has gold outlines. It's very pretty. I don't wear it, though. Because uh, the chain broke, you understand. I'm actually not wearing anything right now. I don't like to wear stuff, to be honest. I don't wear any uh, bracelets. I don't wear any necklaces. You know what I mean? But not Chase, I know what you mean, man. The other side sure is tantalizing. Listen, I find beauty in both men and women. I find them both absolutely gorgeous. Why not have both? That's what I'm thinking. A rather shady looking wolf, who is that? Do your parents not like that you're with Leo? I don't think they were. Oh, really? And even then, if she really wanted grandkids, I guess Chase could, like, donate to a sperm bank or something. I don't know. If if it was really that deep. Which I don't think it is. Just wanted me to be safe. I see. Pretty supportive. Well, that's good. See, Chase's parents sound like they have their heads screwed on pretty straight. They sound like pretty good people. You're sharp as a box cutter sometimes, you know that? Yeah. <laughs> find you over there? How so? How will they find you? When I can't once I'm 18. That's where she got the name Jenna. I thought it was just a nickname, like TJ's, but no. Unless TJ did change his name. Which I don't think so, but... What's my point? That's where Jenna got her name changed. That's very interesting. Again, these science stories don't add a lot, but they help piece together some more questions you didn't know you had. Why did you change my name? Yeah. A little more personal. A little more me, I guess. And what'd you choose? You chose Jenna. Come on, say it. Say it. Jenna. Yeah! Heck yeah, dude. Oh, this is so cool. I don't even know how to say that word. What is that? Austin. Austinacious? 
That's a really big word for Chase to say. I didn't realize Chase was that smart. Uh, it's terrible of me to say it, but still. Yeah, how do you say that? Jasmine. It's a terrible name. Not that, not that I think Jasmine's a bad name, but just the way they spell it is terrible. What's that supposed to mean? What's well, your name now? Yo, know, your very own name. Look at this city, huh? Do you see a dent in this car? Well, it's not your car, Chase, is it? Chase is a bit of a cutie, though, isn't he? He's got some head ruffle. Again, if I was an animal, like, listen, if furries were a real thing, I don't think otters would be the first thing I'd go for. Like, listen, Chase is a cutie and all, but, no, not my speed. I would personally be more partial to, hmm, let me think. What would I pick? If I just, you know, had to pick. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to give it some thought. I guess it doesn't really matter. That was five years ago. Is that right, Chase? Without you around. Yeah. Sorry, Chase. Destiny's calling. We could go bowling. Or go back to Echo in a couple years and try to film a documentary before the whole town falls apart. Does that sound fun? Huh. Aww. You tossed me through a wall. Oh no! <laughs> oh no, dude! You've been a big help. Oh, this is so sweet. Got some insightful music going on, man. That's when he wants to go to college. Very interesting. But the odds can still change! Oh, she had a crush on him! Oh, I find that so cute! Unless she's just toying around. But I think this means that she had a crush on Chase. Had, I guess. Had a crush on Chase. Oh, yeah, dude. Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Heck yeah. Mmm, that feels good. Ah. <sighs> Well, I hope you liked this episode. We got two of the, I think there's seven, two of the seven stories out of the way. Yeah, those were really fun. Uh, I'll see you soon. Bye now.